Now that we understand the structural components to a wine, let's talk about aromas and flavors. There's several sources of aromas and flavors, but three main ones. Primarily, aromas and flavors will come from the grape itself. Different grapes have different natural aromas and flavors. For example, red wine, like Pinot Noir, will often have aromas and flavors of red fruits, such as strawberries, red plums, cranberries. Darker red wines, like Cabernet Sauvignon, will also often have black fruit aromas and flavors, like black currant, black cherry, black plum. White wines also have diverse aromas and flavors. For example, Chardonnay from Chablis, where there's a cool climate, will often have aromas and flavors of citrus, like lemon and lime, and green fruits, like green apple and pear. But take that same Chardonnay grape and pick it in Australia, where the climate is significantly warmer, and we'll have riper fruit aromas, more like stone fruits, like peaches and nectarines, apricots, and sometimes even tropical fruits, like pineapple and mango. Pop quiz question. What qualifies a region as being warm or cool? It's the distance from the equator. The area where the sun has the most impact in terms of sunlight and heat will be closer to the equator. So the further away from the equator the region is, the less effects we get from the sun's light and heat. We can also get aromas and flavors during the winemaking process. One of the most common examples of this is the use of oak barrels for fermentation or maturation. Oak can impart flavors like vanilla, clove, nutmeg, and sometimes even woody aromas like cedar, smoke, or toasted wood. These are intended to complement the aromas and flavors of the fruit, much like herbs and spices are used to season a dish. The last category of aromas and flavor source is the other category. Many times this other category refers to aromas and flavors that develop as the wine matures or ages. Fresh fruit aromas and flavors can develop into dried or raisinated fruit aromas and flavors. For example, in red wines, prune, dried black figs, raisins. In white wines, dried apple, dried apricot, dried pineapple. Sometimes those oak tones develop into caramel or toffee notes over time. Pinot Noir is a grape that's said to develop mushroom and forest floor aromas as the wine ages. And white wines can develop honey and marmalade notes with age. 